Hey everybody, uh, this video got this American 747. I uh, got it without a key and I uh, picked it once, uh, couldn't get it apart, uh, turned the cylinder back, had to pick the cylinder again and then realized you had to beat a pin out of it to gut it. And in doing that it locked back again. So I've actually picked it uh, once with the shackle closed and twice with the shackle open. Uh, but ever since it's had a key, I have not been able to pick it with the shackle open or closed. And I'd really like to because I'd like to get it on video, but you know, it's one of those times, you know, I pick, you know, hardly ever do pick locks off camera, but uh, this one uh, was given to me and I was trying to make a key for it and uh, I was having a lot of trouble picking it. So I ended up, you know, basically just turning on YouTube while picking and got it open that first time. But uh, since then, this lock has been really really frustrating so I figured I'd give it a couple of more shots at doing it on camera and if I can't get it again yeah maybe just do a video on taking it apart and putting it back together or something because uh these are kind of interesting how they come apart All right, we're in a false set. Uh, I don't even know what to do with myself now, holy cow. Okay, I had some counter rotation and lost the false set. Holy cow, we're open. All right. You have no idea how happy that friggin' makes me. And for some reason it didn't even seem that hard at that time, not like it was. It's like I guess uh stick a pick in something long enough it'll eventually free and open. So alright now to gut this thing, um I'm gonna lock it back since I have the key. But what you do is there's a little uh I'm not gonna zoom in yet. There's a set screw right there. There's a uh 3.30 seconds, Allen. Take that out. And I know it's been a little bit of a recurring theme here with my uh, anvil over here. And there's actually a little pin in there and you have to beat it out. And this is how I accidentally locked it back one of the times when I was trying to open it. There it goes. All right, so there's a little pin that you kind of beat out of it. And now hang on to the shackle here because when you turn the key again, it's gonna it's actually gonna shoot out. There's nothing holding it in anymore. Oh, my finger was in the way of it. Alright, I'll don't hold it, just shoot it out. Alright, so now that the shackle's out, take the tension off this spring that's in here, and uh, 
bottom plate actually slides out. And this is the little uh, just piece of aluminum or something or steel that fits into this hole which keeps it from uh, coming off. And then from here your spring will come out, actuator will come out. Once the cylinder falls out here, there we go. There's our actuator. There should be one more ball in there. And uh, that's pretty much as far as you can gut it. Um, on these old school cylinders, you get little uh, brass pins there that keep it from rotating too far. And uh, one of the pins you can actually press in, which allows you to rotate it upside down to rekey it. Um, the other pin is supposed to pull out, but on these old ones, um, oftentimes they don't come out. And if you really want to get it apart, you have to grind it off or drill it off. Then you have to drill a hole and put something else back in there to keep it from rotating too far. So um, I don't know what kind of drivers are in this. I know there's at least one. I think there's actually two spools in it because when you when you have it upside down with all the pins out, you can actually see them. But uh, anyway, uh, finally got this guy on video. I'm super uh, super happy about that. This is uh, the one that's been on my list that's been holding me up. And uh, so that's going to do it for this video here. I'll do a second video on reassembling it. And uh, so anyway, that'll do it for now, guys. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to everybody later.